These are Karens who ruined the employee's day with their selfish behavior. Let's begin. If you ever find yourself in an argument with the employee at Dunkin' Donuts, the last thing you should do is embarrass yourself by stating how much you make and comparing it to their salary. Let's have a look. Whatever the, whatever the went on yesterday or today at home or whoever the got mad at you before today, you're taking it out on somebody else. No, 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 no. Right now, you need to stop. You, you're ignorant. You're. I'm ignorant. ignorant. Yes, you are. I, ignorant. I have a roofing company. You work at Dunkin' Donuts. Who Customer you mean service ignorant? representative. I made three hundred fifty thousand dollars last year. I'm ignorant. Yeah, the cops. What do they pay the you? Twelve. The cops are on the way. We already yeah. made a report. Them. They're not on their way. And you, last day of your job. They're not on your way. Okay, so a group of friends were at a Dunkin' Donuts drive through and when they received their meal, they also received it with a little bit of attitude, as they claimed that the employee threw the bag at them. The driver then parked her car and stampeded straight into the Dunkin' Donuts, where she threw some change and attitude back at the employee, and had a total meltdown at them as well. Let's have a look. <laughs> what is it? Yes, he just threw the bag at my friend. For no reason. Like, literally none. Hey, I know I want you. Come over here to me. You ain't never gonna come up in my face again, I promise you that. Nor will you slam something in my face. Do not speak to me like that. Excuse you? What, 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 excuse you? What's your issue? No. Like, what did no. he do to no. you? No, the he's not gonna throw, he's not we ever gonna throw my him. stuff at me or slam it in my face. We don't know him. We don't know him. I need him to calm down. What the f I didn't say nothing to him. I told him he forgot our stuff. And he okay. proceeded to, to close the door in my face and slam it and then threw it at me. I threw it in my car. I'm either going to call corporate or he needs to get fired today. This Karen refused to follow the same rules as everybody else inside of this dentist. She was inevitably denied entry into it and they wouldn't work on her teeth because of it, which this Karen refused to believe and didn't ask but stated that they would be working on her teeth and she was adamant on getting her way, which obviously wasn't going to happen. Let's have a look. You're gonna work on my teeth, not my nose. I don't wear a mask getting my teeth cleaned. But it's about the safety from our, of all of our- Fine, I'll cover my mouth. Can I go be seated now? No, because you're not you're not filling out the forms or letting us take your temperature. It's about protecting our- You can't take my everybody. temperature. That's against the law. All right, well, I can't- You're not an MD. We're not okay? allowed to- We can't no. see you. That's I have a right, right to sue you for harassing me, the air manager, and this entire company, Smile, whatever you call it, dental. I do have that right, and I talked to my attorney before I came here, too. Okay. So does he want that to happen? I've waited long enough for my teeth to be cleaned, okay? Let's get this done, okay? I, I can't, yeah. They're telling me I can't see you. Who's there? The owner of the practice. I want to hear him. Get him on the phone. He has to send me in written writing, so I want to see your policy. You shouldn't be in the building without a mask either. I can do what I want. No, I'm you free. Can't. It's, it's not a law. Office. It's not a law. This is a medical law. No, it's a office. Okay, so this Karen was waiting to get some ice cream and she wasn't happy with the wait and when she had received it, she believes that she was given the wrong scoop of ice cream. She wanted to speak to the manager immediately to get this employee fired over the mishap and then started abusing literally everybody and was denied service. This sent her into a total meltdown and only made matters worse as she held up everybody in the line until she got her way. Let's have a look. She told you what we wanted. One of the doubles was supposed to be two different scoops. And that's what we paid for. No, you paid for people to clean. Sir, you better give me the correct ice cream right now. This is the clean. You paid for the clean. Sir, I want to talk to the manager. I'm not dealing with this anymore. You need to just get me the correct order now. So it's a double? A separate Correct. Scoop? Correct. So one almond and one mocha fudge? Correct. You want it in separate place, right? No. Okay. Don't you do a double scoop when there are two different flavors? Yes, if you want That's exactly what I want. Yes, you want it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
I'm in here. Can I please get a pizza or can you call your manager? Call the manager, please. Can you please call the owner? Can you call the owner? You don't get to ask me to wear a mask. I don't care what you want. You need to do your job. Please do your job. Please do your job. No, you're not. There's no law. That's not the law. Show me, show me the bylaw. There, you just, you just lost another one. Oh Lord, can I get a pizza, please? Can I get a pizza, please? Can you call your manager, please? Can you please call the owner, please? Can you serve me a pizza, please? Can you, can you serve me? So you're discriminating against me. Is that what you're saying? What am I discriminating against? Can you serve me, please? Can you do your job or can you call a manager, please? Wow, you don't, wow, good customer service. I can't believe this. What's your, what's the number to your manager, please? This Karen was hosting a children's birthday party and she had Uber Eats some cheeseburgers for the kids. Upon arrival, she decided that these burgers were not warm enough to her liking, so she stampeded back into this McDonald's, demanding compensation and some new burgers. This Karen started belittling all of the staff and blaming them for ruining the party. Let's have a look. Two Okay, so this angry customer was at a Wendy's and she wasn't happy with the wait time for her burger. She then started belittling the staff and yelling, demanding that they give her her food immediately, only for another customer to put her in her place. She then got confrontational with just about everybody, where the manager had to intervene and make it very clear to her that she's acting this way about a fast food burger, which they couldn't make any sooner. Let's have a look. Okay, so this customer was with a phone company and she has lost her phone. Now she has went into the store to try and talk to the representative to try and solve the issue, except the representative who is helping her with her case isn't interested at all and is looking down at her phone while she is being spoken to. For this reason, the customer becomes very frustrated and demands to speak to the manager. So let's have a look at what happens next. I'm gonna brood. I just told you, I just, of course, I'm, I'm, and it's not that I was rude, I'm angry, which I have every right to be. She was not. I'm I'm explaining to her the issue I'm having and she's still looking at a phone in my hand. So how is that not I'm telling you both that I lost my phone and you're looking at a phone in my hand confused um, I got the cops called on me. The cops and I'm confused because you guys all you didn't got, ask me to leave. Okay. You just refused to speak to me. All, all we got was that 
they asked you to leave and you wouldn't. Yeah, that's all I got. All on camera. Yeah, they never asked you. me to leave. I'll they didn't leave, yeah. say anything bad other than that. Yeah, that's all we got on our screen. Just said uh, a female refusing to leave, upset about a broken phone. That's all we got. So. And, and, and as soon as I heard that, yeah. I, I used to be an AT and T customer, and I was upset with yeah. them for a long time. I got time Verizon myself. now. Completely I have my problems with AT and T. I went right. to Verizon. <laughs> so, I came in here because I broke my phone. Okay. okay, so this Karen was inside of this convenience store, and she was being very difficult towards this employee. This Karen became very belligerent and also started abusing this employee before asking this gentleman what country he's from when he was quite literally from America just like this Karen. This employee doesn't take this lightly though and actually calls this Karen out before putting her in her place. Let's have a look. Yes. Just a you heard me. You asked, I asked you what country you're from. That says exactly what it says. You say what country I'm from? Yeah. I said that you can't understand that English written right up there. Miss, I have lived in America just like you did. Now get out my store. Boo. Get out my store. I'll just be Boo. 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 You're the problem. Oh, yeah? Boo. It's a dollar twenty cents. Boo! You're white trash. White trash. White trash. Okay, so this Karen was lining up to order some bagels, but as she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else, she was actually denied service and they couldn't serve her. This Karen ended up holding up the entire line and refused to leave until they had given her some bagels, even though she wasn't going to follow the rules. Let's see how that goes for her. Excuse me, can you just serve if you don't want to serve her, let you go. If you want to serve her, serve her. If not, like I, let I, you go. Take her out. Here, That's a, ma ma hello, ma'am. He's not going to serve her, so please leave. Why? This difficult customer was waiting to return a sandwich he had bought and had to stand in line for almost 20 minutes just to be seen. They told him that there was actually a different window for people with problems and that he should have went there instead, which sent this Karen into an explosive meltdown. And not to mention he also wasn't following the store rules. Let's have a look. See how upset I am right now. Okay. So I stood in line once to place my order. I had to stand in line another time to get utensils to eat my order when I specifically told them that I'd be sitting here. I was able to make it to Smarty Pants and get utensils before your employee came up with utensils. Okay. I'm now having to come into line for the third time to have my sandwich cut in half, which I specifically specified. Okay. I have now been here for over 20 minutes. The gentleman who was sitting there with me at the other table also said they had to stand in line multiple times. Okay. So. Yeah, That's where I, that's, I stood in line over there too because there was a line of people waiting to have their orders fixed. Uh, I think so. the people were standing waiting for their orders to get made. If you need something immediate, you can ring the doorbell and we'll come back I need back my sandwich faster. cut in half. I would yeah. appreciate a full refund of my check. We can, we can get the this Karen was belittling the staff at this Dunkin' Donuts because she wasn't happy with the wait time. This since how did Karen believes that they could make her order quicker and for this reason started belittling everybody and demanding faster service. Things escalated quickly when the employees started talking back to her which she didn't appreciate so let's have a look.
true case of this Karen was at a Verizon store trying to get compensation or even a free phone for her mistake. The store didn't like her attitude and decided to tell her to leave as they were only trying to help her but she was anything but friendly towards them and that set this Karen into a total meltdown when she got into the employees faces and started screaming and abusing all sorts of nonsense and threats towards them. Let's have a look. This Sorry. Is where I do Sorry, have... there's another store right no. across the street. No. You're going to have to leave. Yeah, I'll, I'll get some Devil will not get what they want. I need a new phone. I need a new phone. Thank you. 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 Thank Okay, so this very entitled Karen was at a Dunkin' Donuts drive through and she was interrupted while she was placing her order. That was enough to set this Karen right off as she started belittling the staff and telling them that they will not speak to her while she is speaking already and wanted compensation for this inconvenience. That's when the gentleman ended up slamming the window in her face before storming off in a fit of rage. Let's have a look. For you to speak with me, it is for you to wait until I'm done speaking and then you speak. It's common courtesy. Okay, Simple. that's my bad. It's common courtesy. Man. Now, I asked you for a bean vanilla cabana, and you told me that you didn't service them here, and I can show you a thousand receipts that I get those all the time, okay? Now, all of a sudden, the machine is down. So I'm going to need the corporate number. I don't want to have to talk to you anymore. Okay. I just need the corporate number and your name and your badge number because I will be calling in. That's fine. I don't actually have the number. give me the corporate number. I don't want to hear anything. Do you got the corporate number? What? You got the corporate number? Do you have the corporate number? <laughs> you don't. Tell her that. So I don't have the corporate number. We don't hold it in store. Okay. Trust me, I will find out. Okay, so this Karen was staying at a hotel and being a very difficult customer. She was demanding some toiletries immediately and then had a total meltdown at the employees for not restocking her room. This hotel doesn't offer daily cleaning services and this was made clear to the Karen at the start of her stay. And then this Karen demands that this employee calls the manager immediately while the manager is not only not on shift but also asleep. Let's have a look. I, we can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity, okay? <laughs> okay. You have, can you can you call somebody? Um, I will not call my manager on her day off. That's what managers are for, because you don't have management authority. Okay. But I have the authority have to stand authority. here and listen to what you're saying, so... Like, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not going to give you a refund because you still stayed here, so... We're not staying here, we're telling you. We're not staying in the darn room. Only a dirty person will stay in a nasty bed that wasn't without toilet paper i can give you toilet are paper you, are but... you really that low breed? are you really that low that you will stay I in already a explained one? that we don't do daily servicing because of covid if you can't accept that that's too bad that's i don't know what you want me to do because i can't do nothing you about it put toilet paper in the rooms and, uh, what... i can give you toilet paper but, but i can't no, do anything not, else it's not my job for me to put, come and pick it up it's your job the hotel's job no okay? my job is to be front desk and listen to you complain at me so i'm doing my job unbelievable no, it's very okay. believable. No, it's not believable. It is a shame. I have never in my entire life enough comfort in Okay, so this Karen was being an incredibly difficult customer at this fast food restaurant. Not only was she not following the same rules as everybody else, but she was actually complaining about how long it was taking to get her food, even though they were still politely serving her when she wasn't following the rules. She then turned to the other customers and tried to encourage them to not follow the rules as well, which didn't end very well for her. Let's have a look.
Okay, so this lady had called earlier trying to get some meat and she was put on hold. For this reason, she rushed down to the store and started abusing the employees. This lady was extremely arrogant and belligerent towards these employees and abused them all because she was put on hold. This Karen then realized she was being recorded and turned her focus on the recordee before bending over and giving her something to record. Let's have a look. Oh, I, I tried to tell you be about it. You hour, tried. Right? You it's tried to intimidate me from the minute I walked in no, here. No, no. It doesn't no, take an hour and a half to get some meat and a hamburger. Ma'am, that wasn't your. No, I'm not lying. Not, That's why I call it exit spells. I'm gonna have to ask you to quiet. I'm done right now. I'm, I'm telling right now. I'm telling you, Brian B. I'm recording you, just so you know. Go ahead. Cause this, you should be humiliated. I'd hate to be your husband. Okay, there we go. Let's get it. Record that right there. I am. Go if you touch me, I'm calling the police. Call the police now. If you touch me, I'm calling the police. Call the police. Touch Call me. them. Call them. You need help. For what? Get out. Go away, you weirdo. I ain't a weirdo. You're a weirdo with a phone. Yeah. I'm afraid you're going to hit somebody. Poor man. You should have heard him on the phone. It's okay. Okay, so this Karen came into this store the previous day and she wasn't following the same rules as everybody else and for this reason she was removed from the store. She then came back a day later having a total meltdown at the employee demanding to speak to the manager who she ended up already speaking to. She ended up humiliating herself when she demanded to speak to the higher up which was also this gentleman as he owned the store. Let's have a look. If you guys remember the girl that cut her mask, she's about to come in again. <laughs> How you doing? I see you. What happened to the hole? Yeah, uh, I've seen this. What gives you the right to record this? I like to speak to your manager. The manager? Yes. I'm the manager. Well, I'm gonna speak to your supervisor. Supervisor? Yeah. Yeah, let me go get him. Hey, how you doing? I'm the supervisor too. Uh, I'm allowed to record in public, but I see it worked. You, you didn't cut your mask anymore, so. That's because we have to wear the things, but this still gives you the right to record this. So it's you got a million likes. You have somebody over you. I'm with that number, the corporate number. Or corporate? Yes. Yeah. Let me go get your corporate number. You're speaking to corporate. I don't. I don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Well, you need. To but it worked. You. You. You didn't cut your record. mask. You didn't cut your mask. Here you can have. Every case of this Karen is at a Starbucks and basically she is fuming because she was interrupted when she was placing her order. She demands that the employee who was taking her order be quiet while she orders her Starbucks and this was enough to set the Karen off and start abusing and screaming at this employee. Let's have a look. It is for you to wait until I'm done speaking and then you speak. It's common courtesy. Okay, that's Simple. my bad. It's common courtesy. Man. Now I asked you for a bean vanilla cabana. And you told me that you didn't service them here. And I can show you a thousand receipts that I get those all the time, okay? Now, all of a sudden, the machine is down. So I'm gonna need the corporate number. I don't wanna have to talk to you anymore. Okay. I just need the corporate number and your name and your badge number because I will be calling in. That's fine. I don't actually have the just number. Just give me the corporate number. I don't wanna hear anything. You got the corporate number? What? You got the corporate number? You got the corporate number? <laughs> so I don't have the corporate number. We don't hold it in store. Okay. Trust me, I will find that. That's fine. Take care, Pamela. Hi. How are you? Hi. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, okay. You look a bit upset, that's all. Thanks for watching guys and if you want to see more episodes like this, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.